Welcome to another episode of Untold Legends, where we explore the stories found within the worlds of video games, movies, comics, and anything in between. Last time in the Mortal Kombat timeline series, I detailed the story of the cybernetic Lin Kuei warrior Cyrax. I covered his origins as the condiment cyborg Mustard, his struggle to regain his humanity after being forcibly cyberized by his clan, all the way through his selfless sacrifice to aid his fellow Lin Kuei Sub-Zero. Today, I'm going to cover a character that's been through some radical changes throughout the history of the series, ranging from a loving mother and a victim of tragedy to one of the coldest villains in the series. The Queen of Edenia, the mother of Katana, and sometimes unwilling wife of the outworld warlord Shao Kahn. Queen Sindel. Sindel was one of the most unique characters in the Mortal Kombat series when she first appeared in Mortal Kombat 3. Sindel. She was the first combatant that could use the power of levitation in both combat and during victory poses. And during production, her character didn't even have a name until really late in the development process. Until they came up with a name for her, she carried the nicknames Muchacha and The Bride. It's easy to credit the inspiration of her appearance and the nickname The Bride as being inspired by The Bride of Frankenstein, since they both share black and white in their hair and are essentially both characters risen from the dead. But much of Sindel's inspiration comes from the 1993 Hong Kong film, Bride with the White Hair, where the titled character goes from a black-haired bride into a witch with white hair. In her first appearance, she was played by actress Leah Montalongo, who also happened to play Serena in the live-action cutscenes from Mortal Kombat Mythologies, Sub-Zero. Applying the makeup and the wig took approximately three hours, and she filmed her in-game footage in one 14-hour session. After the game's release, she even visited arcades simply to watch players fight as Sindel. In-game, Sindel is also armed with an extremely dangerous natural weapon, her hair. She could control it and use it to pick up and slam enemies into the ground with extreme force, or rip them apart with the sheer velocity of her hair. The live-action movie sequel Mortal Kombat Annihilation took it a step further and turns her hair into a sharp whip-like weapon that goes as far as ripping Raiden's shirt. The movie never really explained why she has the ability to do that with her hair. I mean, you'd think that Katana would have some kind of special hair ability too, being her daughter. But I suppose the game doesn't explain this either, so it doesn't matter. In fact, nothing in Mortal Kombat Annihilation makes any sense anyways. Seriously, look at the actors as Sindel teleports away. Even they don't know what the hell's going on here. They're just bewildered. Besides being able to control her hair, Sindel could also scream really loud. Mother. You're alive. Too bad you will die. So loud that she could break glass with her voice. And sometimes she can even use that same power to break more than just glass. Quan Chi deceived you, you pathetic fool. Impossible! Shao Kahn is no one's fool. You sad, embarrassing wreck of a man. <laughs> Story-wise, Sindel suffered one of the most tragic origins in the series. She ruled the peaceful realm of Edenia alongside her husband, King Jared, a realm filled with lush nature and inhabitants with immensely long lifespans said to be descended from gods. But one day, the peace the realm enjoyed was shattered. 10,000 years ago, they lost their 10th Mortal Kombat tournament in a row, their best warriors defeated by Outworld warriors. With that final loss, Edenia was no longer protected from merging with Outworld. Shao Kahn sent his armies into the realm, and he attacked. The Edenian Imperial Guard, the Resistance, attempted to defend itself from his greed, but ultimately fell. Shao Kahn ravaged Edenia and murdered King Jared, Sindel's husband and father of Kitana, before her very eyes. Edenia was now Shao Kahn's, and he took the queen as his wife, forcing Sindel into a marriage to avoid further damage to her people. Shao Kahn also adopted Sindel's baby daughter Kitana as his own, and demanded that a copy of her be made that would be completely loyal to him, Melina. Sindel was forced to include Melina into their family and 
watch over both girls. But the pain of watching her kingdom fall, her husband slain in front of her, and the realization that her eternity would be spent serving as a slave to Shao Kahn's every command became too much to bear. Sindel made the difficult choice of leaving her daughter behind and took her own life with poison. Even in death, Shao Kahn still wouldn't let her go. Using dark magic, he trapped her soul in Outworld before it could move on, forbidding her to escape him. 10,000 years later, Shao Kahn needed his last victory to take over Earthrealm as he had Edenia. But he faced off against the heroic Shaolin monk Liu Kang and was promptly defeated. According to the rules of this new tournament, he would have to give up his claim over Earthrealm forever. But the power-hungry Shao Kahn would never give up until Earthrealm was added to his empire. He needed to find a way around the rules of Mortal Kombat, and Sindel was the key. After gaining aid from the Elder God of Death, Shinnok, working toward his own plans, Shao Kahn conspired to resurrect his wife, but not in Outworld. If her resurrection took place in Earthrealm, this would allow him to temporarily step through the boundaries of the realms to reclaim her. He set his plan into motion, and Sindel was resurrected in a bewitched state. She had no memories of her true life before Shao Kahn and pledged her total loyalty to Shao Kahn. With a massive army, Kahn invaded Earthrealm and absorbed the souls of most of the human race, increasing his already mighty strength to higher levels. Only Raiden's chosen warriors remained to hold back his forces and defeat Shao Kahn forever. Sindel fought against Earthrealm's combatants for her emperor and husband, until her daughter Kitana realized that her mother was alive. Kitana had previously learned that her entire life was a lie. Melina wasn't her sister, Khan wasn't her father, and she confronted Sindel with the truth. With this knowledge, Sindel began experiencing visions of her previous life, her true past, and remembered it all. She reunited with her daughter and stood alongside Earthrealm's warriors to repel Shao Kahn's invasion. In her non-canon Mortal Kombat 3 and trilogy ending, she defeated Shao Kahn herself and saved Earthrealm. All the souls he took within himself were released, and Sindel also freed the realm of Edenia, separating it from Outworld and becoming its independent ruler once again. In the canon version of events, Liu Kang defeated Shao Kahn, but Sindel still reunited with Katana and freed Edenia from the grasp of Kahn and Outworld. She vowed to rebuild her home reunite her people, and make Shao Kahn pay for his crimes. After Shao Kahn's defeat, he was thrust into Outworld, battered and beaten, and as he slowly recovered, his empire was falling apart. Prior to the events of Mortal Kombat 4 and Gold, Sindel sat on the throne of Edenia again. The Edenian Imperial Guard was re-established, and they were used to bring in criminals that worked against Edenia. Reptile was one of the fugitives taken in, and he stood before Queen Sindel in judgment. Before handing down his sentence, Sindel gave him the opportunity to defend himself, before rendering her final decision. But he declared proudly that he had no regret and would always remain loyal to his master. Sindel sentenced him to a lifetime of hard labor in the cobalt mines of the Shokan, and Reptile promised that Sindel and her people would pay. While Sindel worked to form diplomatic relationships with other realms and kingdoms, she sent Kitana to broker peace deals between the Shokan and the Centaurian races, and the peace that was slowly forming would soon be undone. Sindel's newly appointed ambassador to new realms gathered a group of refugees that were seeking an audience with the queen. His daughter Tanya was contacted by the refugees seeking Sindel's wisdom and guidance. They were from the realm of Tresh, a peaceful realm known for their devotion to art, but the realm was invaded by the evil sorcerer Shil Kad and their people forced into slavery. It was the first time Sindel heard of this realm and the stranger clarified that they mostly kept to themselves. He carried with him a gift made by one of their most talented artisans, an orb that could show someone's deepest desires. But the entire scenario was a trap. The realm didn't exist, the evil sorcerer didn't exist. The stranger was actually the evil netherrealm sorcerer Quan Chi, seeking to open a portal for the elder god of death, Shinnok, to escape. With Shao Kahn out of the way, nothing would stop Shinnok from taking over all the realms. Edenia would be his gateway into the rest of reality, and Tanya had betrayed the queen, having already brokered a deal with Shinnok to allow Quan Chi's entry into Edenia. The orb suddenly exploded into a portal portal that allowed Shinnok to finally make his way back into the world of the living, alongside his demon army and recruited allies. The netherworld demons decimated the imperial guards, and Queen Sindel was knocked unconscious and taken to the Edenian dungeon. With his entrance back into Edenia, Shinnok was free to wage war against the gods that banished him to the netherrealm. Sindel wasn't directly involved in the events of Mortal Kombat 4 and Gold. Originally, she was planned to be a playable combatant, but she was replaced by the wind god Fujin during development. In the canon version of events, Shinnok's war was stopped by Liu Kang, and he was sent back into the Netherrealm. After his defeat, Sindel was freed from her imprisonment, and she was outraged that her kingdom was so easily invaded, something she could no longer allow. She sent Katana to form an alliance with the armies of the Shokan and lead them into battle against the remainder of Shao Kahn's weakened forces in Outworld. His threat would need to be removed before he had an opportunity to take back Edenia. Throughout the events of Deadly Alliance, Sindel worked behind the scenes to continue restoring her kingdom, while Shang Tsung and Quan Chi attempted to resurrect the 
immortal army of Onaga the Dragon King, earliest known emperor of Outworld. In the end, Onaga himself returned to life, using the body of Reptile as a vessel. Many of the warriors that stood against the Deadly Alliance were slain and returned to life under Onaga's control, including Katana. During the events of Mortal Kombat Deception, the threat from Outworld didn't come from Shao Kahn. This time Onaga invaded Edenia, and it was flooded with the Tarkatan armies under his command. During the invasion, Sindel was captured and held prisoner with her own daughter as the brainwashed guard. Sindel willingly remained captive, unable to bring herself to attack her own daughter. But longtime ally of the royal family and friend of Katana Jade didn't share the same apprehension. Jade attacked Katana and knocked her out. She helped Sindel escape, and together they traveled into Outworld to learn as much as they could about the Dragon King. What he was searching for in Edenia, what his ultimate goals were. In her non-canon Mortal Kombat Deception ending, Sindel found the original body of Onaga and used it to destroy the Dragon King. Although Onaga had returned from the dead, he did not re-inhabit his original body. Sindel and Jade found his sarcophagus opened. His body remained, but the armor was missing. Strangely, the hieroglyphics in his tomb were similar to an ancient Edenian language. She discovered an incantation inscribed by Onaga's holy men that was intended to transport his soul back into its original body. As she was memorizing the spell, Onaga emerged from the shadows. Onaga could have defeated both Jade and Sindel, but instead he took sadistic pleasure in unleashing Katana against them. He was a fool. Jade held off Katana while Sindel thrust her Quan Dao into the heart of the corpse. As she screamed the ancient incantation, Onaga's soul leapt from Reptile's body into its intended vessel. The corpse came to life and cried in agony as the Quan Dao prevented its heart from reforming. Sindel held the blade firmly in place as Onaga returned to the cold sleep of death. With the Dragon King defeated, the realms were safe and Sindel's daughter Katana was free from his spell. May Edenia know peace once more. In the canon version of events, Ermac and the spirit of Liu Kang freed the controlled Earthrealm combatants, and the warrior Shijinko used their combined might to end the threat of Onaga. After the events of Deception, all of the realms would be in danger. Armageddon was approaching, and it seemed that constant combat was weakening the barriers between realms. Everything would soon collapse and the Elemental Blaze offered its reality-altering powers to anyone that could defeat it. Sindel joined the Forces of Light in an effort to stop Shinnok's Army of Darkness from gaining Blaze's power. In her non-canon Armageddon ending, Sindel defeated Blaze and claimed his power to reunite her family and protect all realms from tyrants like Shao Kahn. <laughs> With the power of a god coursing through her, Sindel chose to undo the murder of her husband, Jared, at the hands of Shao Kahn. Reaching into the heavens, she pulled his soul back to Edenia and made him flesh once more. The reunited Jared, Sindel, and Katana formed the Triad of the Just to protect the realms from tyrants like Shao Kahn. In the canon version of events, she was sent flying down the pyramid after a blast from Shang Tsung and ultimately died like most of the other combatants, with a sword through her chest in the battlefield. Shao Kahn defeated Blaze and claimed his power. He prepared to end everything, to destroy reality and recreate it in his image. Only Raiden remained to stand against him. His only chance was to send a message back in time to his younger self, to stop Armageddon from repeating. With the message sent, the history of the timeline was rewritten, and Raiden received his message during the time of the original Mortal Kombat and Earthrealm's 10th tournament. But altering the flow of time can have unintended consequences, small ripples of change that can vastly alter known history. Many combatants that weren't present in this tournament were now present. Slight alterations to history stretch back thousands of years. Even Sindel fell victim to the effects of this new, altered 
timeline. This Sindel was significantly different than her previous iteration. As a kind, benevolent ruler and loving mother, this Sindel still ruled alongside her husband, King Jared, quietly believing that he was weak. He ruled his people fairly, but Edenians were descended from godhood. Sindel believed it was their right to spread from Edenia and conquer. Any descent was secretly crushed by Sindel, even going as far as banishing Sub-Zero's ancestors without her husband's knowledge. <laughs> Your bloodline descends from Edinia. Why did my ancestors flee your kingdom? <laughs> Lee, I had them banished. In this new timeline, Shao Kahn still invaded and conquered Edenia, but he didn't kill King Jared. Sindel took the opportunity to ruthlessly destroy her weak-willed husband, and willingly married Shao Kahn. With the strength of Shao Kahn's leadership, the Empire would spread through all the realms in time, and she would be the queen of everything. Shao Kahn became infatuated with his ruthless queen, and in this timeline, the evil sorcerer Quan Chi had allied himself with Shao Kahn from the beginning. He needed Kahn to follow his guidance in his secret plot to release Shinnok from the Netherrealm, and he saw Queen Sindel as a distraction to the Warlord. Instead of taking her own life, Quan Chi poisoned Sindel and killed her, then reported her death to Shao Kahn as having been committed by herself. Khan was devastated and angered, but Sindel's death fueled him with the rage to continue his path of conquest. Thousands of years later, Liu Kang still defeated Shang Tsung and still continued to defeat Shao Kahn in combat, preventing him from taking Earthrealm. But as in the original timeline, Shao Kahn survived, and his lust for power wouldn't be stopped so easily. He dreamed of invading Earthrealm, but the rules of Mortal Kombat placed by the Elder Gods prevented him from merging Earthrealm and Outworld. Without ten straight victories in Mortal Kombat, Quan Chi had an idea, though, that would allow Shao Kahn's entry into Earthrealm. Quan Chi revealed that the dimensional barriers in place between the realms were a fiction created by the Elder Gods. They didn't exist, and Sindel knew this, so she decided to place a protective barrier around Earthrealm and sacrificed herself to ensure that it couldn't be undone, giving Earthrealm the protection that Edenia didn't have. If Quan she could resurrect her, the barrier she placed around Earthrealm would be undone, and Shao Kahn would be free to invade. All complete lies by Quan Chi. In reality, he simply needed Shao Kahn to attack Earthrealm to ensure his removal from the equation, leaving the path open for Shinnok to return unopposed. Quan Chi continued his charade and resurrected Sindel without the memories of her murder at his hands. I will return her to you, of course. You will find her much more cooperative. This is a very magnanimous offer. I wish only to serve, Emperor. I am weary of sorcerers, Quan Chi. Prove your worth. Bring her to me. Sindel. Quan Chi? Shao Kahn looks forward to your return. The Emperor. Yes. What of Kitana? Kitana now allies herself with Earthrealm. Then she is no longer my daughter. Take me to Shao Kahn. Yes, Empress. The invasion of Earthrealm can now begin. During the invasion, Raiden destroyed Mataro, one of Khan's most powerful generals. The Emperor was outraged, and Sindel offered her own services in his place. But Sindel was too valuable to him to be put in danger. In order for her to stand against Raiden's forces, she would need her strength increased. Strength that would be stolen from Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. Yes, Emperor. The Empress requires something of you. In her non-canon Mortal Kombat 9 ending, Sindel used the power against Shao Kahn and undid the damage that her original alliance with Shao Kahn introduced.
she did battle with Shao Kahn and slew him. Punishment for the suffering he brought upon her and millions of others throughout the realms. She dissolved the sorcery that bound Edenia with Outworld and began restoring her realm to its former glory. The many races of Outworld were impressed. Not only had Sindel defeated Shao Kahn, but she had shown great leadership in chaotic times. They willingly offered her their allegiance. Under Sindel's governance, the realms of Edenia and Outworld remain merged in spirit. In the canon version of events, she did no such thing, and hunted down Raiden's combatants, Earthrealm's last line of defense. Her increased strength, powered up by the souls that were inside Shang Tsung, made her an unstoppable force, and she ended most of her attackers effortlessly. <laughs> Nightwolf was one of the last warriors standing, a man imbued with strong magical energy and aided by a force known as the Great Spirit. Even with Sindel's immense strength, he would be the end of her threat. A victory is mine, shaman! Not if I take it from you! <laughs> By the Elder Gods! With an immense blast of energy, Nightwolf sacrificed himself to stop Sindel. Everything was going exactly as Quan Chi manipulated it to. He captured the souls of the fallen Earthrealm combatants and recreated them in another realm as his revenants. Mindless, undead slaves loyal to Quan Chi and Shinnok. Raiden attempted to recruit Quan Chi to stand against Shao Kahn and looked upon what Quan Chi did to his horror. But during the encounter, Raiden realized what needed to be done. The Elder Gods never promised to prevent Shao Kahn from invading Earthrealm without victory in Mortal Kombat. They just forbade him from merging it with Outworld. If Raiden allowed Shao Kahn to win and begin merging the realms, the Elder Gods would then step in. The plan worked, and the Elder Gods appeared to send Shao Kahn to his punishment for disobeying the rules of Mortal Kombat. With Shao Kahn gone, Shinnok and Quan Chi's plans came to fruition, and the Elder God of Death was freed from the Netherrealm to conquer Earthrealm. Outworld, and any other realm that opposed him. During the events of Mortal Kombat X, Fujin and Raiden stood side by side in an effort to prevent the resurrection of Shinnok, while Shinnok's demon army invaded Earthrealm, and Quan Chi sent the Revenant Sindel and her allies to slow them down. Surely you are pleased to see your friends. You abandoned them to their deaths. I return them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share, and my lord himself shall witness your fall. Sindel's Revenant failed to stop Raiden and Fujin, but Shinnok had already returned, only to be defeated by Johnny Cage and trapped inside his amulet. Years later, he was threatening to return again, and Jax traveled with a team of special forces into the Netherrealm to capture Quan Chi, and his Revenants protected him.
Welcome home, Jackson Briggs. This hill is not my home. Then why be fool enough to return? I got a family to protect. Huan Shi reunited me with my family. He will do the same for you. Plenty where that came from. Quan Chi's not helping you. Jax, there is no need. Just stop it. Jax brought in Quan Chi as a special forces prisoner where he was slain by Hanzo Asashi, and Shinnok returned to the world of the living again, released from his amulet. He set out to destroy Earth Realm by corrupting the Jinsei, its life force, and ordered his revenants to attack Raiden, Sindel included. Although Raiden was hesitant to attack his previous allies, they lost their humanity long ago. Using the power inherited by the Cage family, Cassie beat down Shinnok and stopped him from destroying Earthrealm, ending the events of Mortal Kombat X. Has your mother ever told you what I did to her friends? Kill them all in the blink of an eye. And your own daughter. You proud of that? We are bonded in death. You will join us, and I will give you a proper upbringing. <laughs> Nice offer, Mommy Dearest, but I'll pass. After his defeat, Shinnok was repeatedly tortured by Raiden as punishment for his invasion of Earthrealm. And Shinnok's mother, the Titan Kronika, responsible for the flow of time, sought revenge. She manipulated multiple timelines, and always the team of Raiden and Liu Kang would ruin her vision of the perfect era. She set out to erase the universe and recreate a timeline without Raiden and Liu Kang as a threat. She recruited warriors from multiple points in time to aid her, as she gathered the energy she needed to accomplish her goals. But the now Fire God Liu Kang defeated her, and became the new god responsible for time. As Liu Kang began forming a new era of history, a portal appeared from the void, where Kronika trapped warriors that refused to aid her. Shang Tsung appeared with Fujin and Nightwolf at his side. During the conflict with Kronika, her crown was shattered, a tool needed to operate the hourglass. Without it, the hourglass would shatter, and the very concept of time would cease to exist. Although he couldn't be trusted, the trio of Shang Tsung, Fujin, and Nightwolf were sent back into the timeline to retrieve the crown. After arriving in the past, they agreed they needed help to retrieve the crown since Kronika would know of their arrival, but they couldn't take actions that would interfere too much with the current flow of events. They needed to recruit warriors that didn't play an important part in the battles to come, to minimize any change in history. Shang Tsung suggested that they find the Revenant of Sindel and recruit her. She was Shao Kahn's empress, his equal in evil. Because he had her bewitched, returning Sindel to life will restore her original, more heroic self. And if we fail, the Sindel I knew wiped out most of Earthrealm's champions in a single battle. If Nightwolf hadn't sacrificed himself, she would have killed them all. And that is the power we need to assure victory against Cetrion. Shang Tsung also fed them the lie that Sindel was only evil due to mind control. All they needed to do was retrieve some of the Jinsei energy that kept Earthrealm alive to heal Sindel's undead body, and insert her body into the soul chamber of Outworld, which would revive her back to her natural state. With the Jinsei energy in hand, they traveled to the Nether Realm to capture Sindel's Revenant. After Shinnok's defeat, the Revenant of Liu Kang became the leader of the Revenants, and discovered the intruders into his realm. They were captured, and this would be their opportunity to grab Sindel. Raiden's violence against our lord will not go unavenged, Fujin. Prepare to pay for your brother's sins. Sindel, you look well. Death becomes you. Always the charmer, Shang Tsung. I will enjoy feeding Lord Shinnok your soul. But you, Nightwolf, you get the privilege of suffering most. Only the best will do for the man who killed me.
I should have saved you. Hopefully we will today. <laughs> without killing my revenant. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> As Raiden said to Lord Shinnok, there are fates worse than death. I can imagine few fates worse than yours. They successfully took the unconscious Revenant Sindel and traveled with her to Outworld. They needed to ally themselves with Shiva to gain access to the Soul Chamber and convinced her to help them. Shiva was doubtful of the plan. Katana was now Empress of Outworld, and she was hesitant to move forward without Katana's knowledge. In life, Sindel appointed Shiva as her protector, and she was bloodbound to her old Empress. So Shiva agreed to guide them to the Soul Chamber. Multiple allies of Katana attempted to stop them, but ultimately they reached the Soul Chamber, where Kotal Kahn was using it to heal from his injuries inflicted on him by Shao Kahn. And Kotal Kahn was enraged that such bizarre magic was being proposed. Necromancy was forbidden, and he attempted to stop them. While Shiva held him back, the body of Sindel began the restoration process. to see you, too. Am I alive? Is this real? It is, Lady Sindel. A miracle we could not have achieved without your most loyal subject. Shiva? Empress, though today I have aided you, too often have I failed to protect you. I am not worthy. Ah, oh, nonsense. Today, you give me the greatest gift, a second chance. Your duty is fulfilled. I am in your debt now. Thank you, Empress. Where is my daughter? Ah, oh, Katana. It is me, Katana, your mother. I... I want to feel joy, but all I feel is... I was only a child when you... You... How could you kill yourself? Why did you abandon me? I did neither, Katana. After being forced to wed Shao Kahn, I ran afoul of Quan Chi. He accused me of distracting Shao Kahn. Then the miscreant murdered me and staged my death as a suicide. As I had always suspected. But all this time? Everything I've been told about you, it's all lies. What can I trust? Trust that I loved your father, Jared. Trust that I love you. No, oh, Mother. This reunion is a blessing. Sindel was returned to life, reuniting with the daughter she lost so long ago, and Sindel traveled with the group, allying herself with them to retrieve Kronika's crown. Secretly, she had her own motivations that would be revealed in time. While they searched for the crown hidden underneath Shang Tsung's island, Sindel struggled to protect them from the Elder God of Life, Shinnok's sister Cetrion. You were 
to defeat me. I am not finished yet. Sindel, that hair so much as twitches. Ease up, baby girl. From this point forward, the timeline was changed permanently, and no one could tell how events would unfold. Sindel returned to her home and secretly communicated with Shang Tsung to enact the next phase of their plans. She was disturbed that her daughter was so soft, more like King Jared as a ruler than Shao Kahn. Having second thoughts, Sindel? Hardly. Katana courts a peasant and obeys the Thunder God. She couldn't be a bigger disappointment. One can only imagine. The Isle. Do not be late. An eternal empire awaits you. Enter. Katana Khan. Oh, don't be so formal, Mother. You are Khan Katana. Command the awe of your subjects. Even me. Oh, I shall never tire of greeting you. Nor will I tire of calling on you. Our battalion is leaving for the Sea of Blood. Queen Shiva and the Shokan will follow his rear guard. May I request something? Mother, you don't have to... ...make your request. Shiva. Queen Shiva. Risked everything to restore me. Honor demands that I accompany her into battle. Yes, it does. And that display of loyalty is sure to rally the Shokan spirits. Thank you, Kitana Khan. Shao Kahn was still alive, blinded by an attack from Katana. He was kept underground and tortured by his captors, and Sindel traveled there to free her husband and restore him to his former glory. A tragic betrayal that was discovered by Shiva. The soul chamber will heal your wounds. Then we'll discipline Katana and take back our throne. Empress? Tell me I misheard. Tell me you would not betray your daughter. She takes after her father, Shiva. Jared was a weak king. Kitana is a weaker Khan. Weak? She defeated Shao Kahn. Yet she lacked the resolve to kill him. Now she will learn. Enemies must be crushed, lest they rise again. That was true once. But now there is a better way to lead. <laughs> <laughs> Elder gods tremble before me, Shiva. What hope did you have? <laughs> Kitana murdered your Shokan brethren. Shiva challenged her and suffered this punishment. Swear your allegiance, and I shall see her avenged.
Shao Kahn's body was fully restored. Sindel stood by her emperor, and Kronika detected this change in history. She sent her immortal construct and weapon Garrus to demand Sindel's loyalty, something Sindel was not a fan of. Raiden's forces were gathering to attack Kronika's fortress and put a stop to her plans, and Sindel and Shao Kahn encountered the Cage family defending themselves. Cassie Cage inherited her father's mouth and talked down to Shao Kahn, but Sindel would not allow this child to disrespect the rightful ruler of Outworld. You will bow and serve the Empire. Make us an authoritarian asshole. I want her. A fearless gladiator like you would entertain well in our arena. Until your death, of course. Mom used to say, death smiles at everyone, but the Blade women, we smile back. Not smiling anymore, are we? The defeated were taken prisoner, and Sindel helped Shao Kahn take over the ship headed to Kronika's fortress. They crossed the Sea of Blood and caught up to the rest of the fleet headed to Kronika. Raiden's combatants battled against Khans, and Sindel's full betrayal was revealed. What spell has Shao Kahn used on you this time? Naive girl. Your mother is not bewitched. She never has been. She had a husband, and a kingdom, and you took them away! <laughs> oh, Kitana, my first husband, your father, was a fool. Jared believed that we were no better than commoners. He refused to assert the privileges of our throne. He traded away our powers, our divine rights. Edenia grew weak and vulnerable. Then Shao Kahn invaded, embracing his power, taking what was his. Here was a man unashamed to assert his privilege, and who vowed to protect mine. I had found my true love, and to consecrate our bond, I killed Jared for him. You love Shao Kahn more than your own daughter? Let the women be, chosen one. You owe me combat. You should have stayed dead. Please, that wounds me, daughter. I am prepared to do much worse. Bow to me. Learn or be punished, child. In her non-canon Mortal Kombat 11 ending, she used Kronika's power to become the ultimate ruthless leader, the Empress of Time in charge of all realms and all realities, even casting Shao Kahn aside. Jared was weak, destined to fail. By betraying him, I gained a better lover and the ultimate weapon, a conqueror to unite all realms and put them at my beck and call. Then, Kronika upended history, and I found myself confronting a future in which I had been dead for centuries. My so-called family had failed me in every way. Katana broke my heart worst. Instead of uniting the realms, she sought to liberate them. As if the wasteland savages could ever be more than serfs. Ever the caring mother. I had to discipline my little princess. And after that, I had to discipline a titan. Now, I have defeated Kronika. Outgrown Shao Kahn and Kitana. I have no more family. No more rivals. No more gods. I sit above them all. On a throne that unites all realms and all realities. Whoever you are, wherever you are, when you are before me, kneel. For I am Sindel, Empress of Time, and you exist only to serve me.
In the canon version of events, victory was finally in sight when they neared Kronika's fortress. Shang Tsung was revealed as the creator of Kronika's crown originally, and he wore it, enhancing his already incredible powers. Kronika and her allies were the only things left in their way. With the aid of Shang Tsung, nothing would stop Sindel and Shao Kahn from ruling an eternal empire. But as history had proven time and time again, sorcerers could never be trusted, especially Shang Tsung. Once your power's mine, I will rule eternity. And that was the end of Sindel in the history of the Altered Timeline. Her insatiable greed became nothing more than a driving force for Shang Tsung's ultimate final plan. In the end, a new era was indeed successfully created, but will this era bring Sindel back to the kind-hearted, loving queen and mother that she originally was, or will history cast her as another power-hungry tyrant? <laughs> If you'd like to support my work, I invite you to become a patron. There's multiple levels of support available. Or for an option right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member and gain access to exclusive badges and emojis and exclusive polls. Every dollar helps keep the wheels turning, and I'd like to thank my current patrons and channel members for their continued support. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And make sure you follow me on social media so you never miss a thing.